All right, news for Jack's helping you live healthy this morning. A study from researchers at Harvard University found that children whose mothers follow five healthy habits are 75% less likely to become obese. We're talking eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, keeping a healthy bloody body weight, drinking alcohol in moderation, and not smoking. And the study found that when both the mom and child did these things, the risk of obesity was 80% lower than when compared with other families who didn't. So joining me now to discuss the finding is Dr. Hussain Abbas um, talking more about this. And you said right. this was pretty surprising. I mean, like to me, it seems like common sense. You know, if I'm eating healthy, if I'm living a healthy life, my kids will. But what this really showed is that correlation between what kids see and then what plays out in their lifestyle. Correct. Exactly. So we've had a lot of studies, but we've not really had anything that is um, kind of combined all the factors together and showed us what we have here. This is a very interesting study because what they did is they sent out this very detailed questionnaire mm -hmm. to um, a group of nurses. And then after a while, what they established is we know that, for example, um, women who have a healthy lifestyle, don't smoke, exercise regularly, um, have a much lower risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, better quality of life, and lower mortalities. Mm -hmm. And so they wanted to see, does that actually translate to the offspring? Does mm -hmm. that translate to the children? And so they sent out another very detailed questionnaire to women who actually had children who were at adolescent age, between right. 6 to, uh, to 19 years. Right. And they found actually that, you know, as you, as you stated, that women who followed these five habits made a huge difference, despite actually, um, again, an interesting point where even if the child themselves right. did not follow these, these habits, exact the habits, was doing. their risk was still 75% lower right. than their peers. Which means you can put something in front of them, but if you're not eating the healthy food as well, then they don't necessarily make that Correct. connection. And we talk about this because it really is a serious problem. We have numbers like one in five children in the United States are obese. It leads to diabetes, a lot of adult-like diseases that now right. we're seeing in our children. That is exactly true. So even th diseases like the gallbladder bladder disease, which really is very unusual to see in children, but now with the obesity epidemic, and of course, the, the, I mean, we, we are spending nowadays about one-fifth of the GDP of the national budget goes on health care. Right. And so if we have 20% obesity in children and they're going to have increased costs, this is going to be a significant problem in the future. And we really need to try and tackle this, you know, kind of like nip it at the butt, try right. and really control that. And in children, because we know that quality of life has decreased, mortality has increased, as you stated, diabetes, which has significant cost, hypertension, um, hypercholesterolemia, you know, their, the bad cholesterol goes up, the good cholesterol comes down. Yeah, you don't even know the real effects on these Correct. kids who will live a lifetime with some of these illnesses. Correct. Um, what you also found interesting in the study is that it wasn't one thing. It wasn't like, okay, if mom is a healthy weight, but she Correct. smokes. It's all of these things put together Correct. that really contribute to the findings. Correct. It really is a constellation of things, all of them together. We've had other studies in the past that actually looked at specific factors, one factor or two factors, but we really did not look at, I mean, they looked a bunch of factors here and tried to find which were actually statistically significant. Mm -hmm. And those five factors made a big impact actually on the health of the child. Yeah. And so it, I think it's very important to try and, you know, there's going to be, of course, they need to be follow-up studies to look at this. Um, and I think we spoke about, this was only, they looked only at, at mothers. Right. So how about if they look at the whole family, family. and parents, right. you know, and mother so. and father, yeah. does that actually improve and uh, things even more? And I would think so. Yeah. I, would, I mean, it sounds like it. And also what was interesting was they talked about drinking. So right. no, none of the moms were heavy drinkers, right. but the moderate and low drinkers actually had a better outcome than Correct. moms who didn't drink at all. Correct, exactly. So that's, again, an interesting, yeah, you know, that is. interesting uh, part of the study. Um, but again, I, I think what, what I would say is to look at the study altogether, because right. they also talk about moderate to vigorous exercise, which right. is about 150 minutes of uh, exercise a week. Uh -huh. I mean, that's quite a bit. That's about half an hour yeah, a day. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> exactly. And so, as you said, perhaps it does influence the child into thinking, well, if mom does it, then maybe I should I'll do, do it, it as too. well. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's a family affair. Correct. And you find that if the whole, if, mo if mom does it, the whole family will Correct. follow. That's Isn't right. that true? That is very, when very mom true. mom is happy, the house is happy. That so is moms, true. let's get healthy and make our whole household healthy. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. All right, so if you missed any of this information, go to newsforjax.com. We're going to post this interview a little later this morning. And also, we have that great Live Healthy segment. It is there, and we do stories continuously. These are stories to really to enhance your life and keep you healthy. So look under the health tab for those stories.